Hey YouTubers! Hunters are often torn about whether to pack binoculars or a spotting scope. Both have their uses, depending on your needs. But one is often better suited for certain situations than the other. If you've stumbled on this video, you're probably looking for more information about binoculars and spotting scopes. How do they compare? And which is the best hands-down winner? Well, you came to the right place. Here, we will compare and break down each device to make your decision easier. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. If you have another video you'd like to see, let us know by leaving a comment down below. Now, let's cut to the chase and get started. We'll start with binoculars. What are binoculars? Binoculars are one of the most popular tools for getting a glimpse of something in the distance. They are a fairly cheap way of getting a magnified view of a wide area. Binoculars are excellent for those who want a wide field of view. If you are in open areas, they allow you to scan widely and take in the whole landscape. Depending on the type you choose, binoculars are an easy-to-transport optic that can be packed in a small bag. Some binoculars may even fit in your pocket. Because they are so compact, binoculars are a versatile optic that can be used for a wide range of purposes in just about any environment. And now the spotting scope. What is a spotting scope? Spotting scopes are a bit more specialized than binoculars. Essentially, mini telescopes. They typically have a higher magnification level than what you'll find in most binoculars. Spotting scopes are great for those that need a high level of magnification to sight objects that are far away. Like a telescope, you'll only use one eye when looking through a spotting scope. Spotting scopes are compact enough that they are easy to take out into the field. However, you probably won't be slipping a spotting scope into your pocket. Though they are not the same, they do have some similarities. 1. They are both fairly versatile. Although both have specific strengths, they can be used in a wide range of terrains and shooting conditions, making them excellent optics for just about any hunt. 2. Both feature models with excellent lenses and clear, bright images. And here are some areas where they differ. 1. Binoculars give you a wide field of view, allowing you to easily survey a whole area. Spotting scopes are meant to focus on a single target. Two. For image stability, spotting scopes are usually mounted on a tripod, so they won't move around as you focus on an image. Binoculars are handheld, so they tend to shake and blur more as you increase the magnification. 3. And when it comes to portability, binoculars are generally much lighter than spotting scopes, and their shape makes them easier to transport. Looking to see who comes out on top? In terms of power, spotting scopes are designed to offer a high level of magnification allowing you to see a target from far away. If you need to spot a specific target from far away, you are better off with a spotting scope. In terms of portability, binoculars are your best buddy. You can put them in your bag or just zip them into your pocket. And lastly, for pricing, in general, binoculars are less expensive than spotting scopes. If you are planning to magnify a view of a wide area in an inexpensive way, go for binoculars. There you have it. We hope we provided you with everything you wanted to know about these two optics. If not, check out the links in the description to get more information or shoot us a message in the comments below. If this video was helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.